hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm Evelyn mafo if you're new to this channel and um, if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back once again today's video is about guidelines on writing a perfect motivation letter that will earn you a visa so please do stay tuned but before that guys please if you've not subscribed to my youtube channel just take a minute and go down and hit the red subscribe button Turn on your notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload videos on this channel and you can easily assess them. So like I said, I'm giving you guidelines on writing like a great motivation letter that would earn you an au pair visa. So what's the first thing you need to know? The first thing I want you all to have in mind is that this letter needs to be typed. It's not a handwritten letter you're going to be submitting but you have to type and print out your letter. And when you print out this letter, do not forget to sign, okay? That's really important. Your letter has to be typed, printed, and signed. The next thing you have to keep in mind while writing this letter is that the letter has to be written in German. Mm -hmm. I know you're looking at me right now. Yeah, you have to write this letter in German. But of course, with an A1 level of German, they are not expecting you to come with perfect German, right? Like, the letter is not supposed to be perfect. Because why are you applying for OPE in the first place? Because you want to improve on your language. And, you know, one of the reasons why you're applying is because you want to improve on your language, right? So if you come with a perfect letter, then there is nothing you want to improve on. Because you already have everything perfect. So... There'll be, as, there'll be as well no reason for you to move to Germany as an opera. So yeah, you have to write this letter in German, but you're not expected to, you know, write everything out perfectly. Yeah, your letter should be understandable, but not perfect. The next thing you want to keep in mind is that your letter has to be addressed to the right addressee. By the right addressee, I mean to the German embassy wherever you live. It could be in your home country or that you're currently based somewhere. But you want to keep in mind that this letter has to be addressed to the German embassy wherever you are at the moment when you're applying. And with that said, we are going to go ahead and talk about the introduction of your letter. Hmm. In the introduction of your letter, guys, what do you want to talk about? You're just basically required to talk about you, like your name, where you come from, where you're currently based, what languages you speak, like if you speak other languages apart from your mother uh, language, you're, it's a good thing if you include this, like the language you speak. And equally, in this part of the letter, you want to talk about your experience with kids, if you've worked with kids before. It's a good thing if you can include your experience with kids. Talk about your hobbies, what you love, what you do when you're free. And and equally, you could add some information about your level of German. Let's say you have above A1 level of German. Normally, you're required to have A1 if you're applying to travel to Germany for OPE. You're required to have an A1. But for instance, let's say you have a B1 already. You can, in this intro, you can talk about, you know, your level of German, how long you've been studying German, where you study the, the language and all of that. Just include that in your letter. That's that should be it like for the introduction and then the body of the letter. Now I'm going to talk about the body of the letter. I need you to keep in mind, guys, that the body of the letter is the most important part of your letter. OK, and this part of the letter can determine whether or not you get the visa instantly, like from just reading your letter. This part of the letter can determine whether or not you get a visa. One thing, you can go ahead to divide um, the body of your letter in two parts if you want to. But of course, you can just write it in a block paragraph for the body of your letter. But here, the very first thing you need to mention is why you want to be an OP. Like, genuinely write why you want to become an OP. This is the first thing you're talking about in the body of your letter. It could be the fact that you want to improve on your, uh, on your German language or you want to perfect your German language improve on your pronunciation or something the german culture as well but whatever you say do not drift away from the fact that you want to improve on your language and you want to learn the german culture because these are the main reasons for the entire au pair program right so you shouldn't be far from language and culture those two things no matter what you say please always include them in your letter 
this is why the program exists initially so you want to say that you're coming to improve your language you want to learn the culture and maybe whatever it is that you have in mind do not forget that the next question you should be answering in this paragraph is um, why you're choosing germany for au pair because like i said in my previous video there are a lot of countries around the world that offer au pair like this program exists in a lot of countries so if you choose germany you should have a concrete reason why you're choosing germany this is where you go ahead and talk about you know the german culture the german people like this is where you go ahead and reveal the fact that on some research and you know a lot about germany germany has a history that is known worldwide right you can talk about that as well there are a lot of things that you can mention but you have to give them concrete reasons why you're choosing germany for your op that's like the next thing you answer when you're writing the body of your letter like why germany and if you answer um, why you're choosing Germany, you can go ahead and talk about what you're currently doing in your country or what you just moved from. If you graduated from school or you're currently working, mention all of that in your letter. Like state what you're currently doing and um, why you, you want to move into OPE. And if you've written about that, the next thing you want to write about is uh, what you want to do after OPE. This is very important. Write something with what you want to do after au pair. And a tip for you guys, it, it could be that you want to study tourism after au pair in your country and you want to improve on your language. You might have been learning German for a while and you want to come to Germany and improve on your language and your pronunciation. And then you go back and continue with your career back at home, right? Because one thing you need to know is that in this letter, you have to prove to them that after your au pair, you're going back to your country, right? Au pair is a one-year cultural exchange program. And after this program, you are requested to go back to your country. Although you can decide to do whatever when you're done. But even if you have to do whatever you want to do when you're done, make sure that in this letter, you prove that after your au pair, you're going back to your country. Like I talked of tourism, that's a good uh, example. It could be that you're studying tourism or you want to study tourism in your country. If you want to study tourism in your country, for instance, you could go ahead and apply for that course in the university and attach this, um, the admission letter, like when you finally secure a place in the university back in your country, attach proof to your motivation letter that you would be studying tourism after your OP. That's like, a good thing to do because it actually proves that after okay you're going back to your country to continue whatever you talked about and with that it's easier for you to get a visa that when you just you know say you go back after your au pair and you don't give any proof when you have proof that's really good because then they have a guarantee that oh this person is just coming here for this within this period and then after they are going back to their country that way you can easily get a visa and then if you've talked about that something i want you to equally include in this part of your letter mention why open is important for you in your career like explain how open will help you in your career so guys please do mention all of this in the body of your letter like i said because this part of the letter determines whether you get this visa or not and if you've mentioned all of that in the body of your letter, what do you do? You go ahead and make a, a short conclusion to your letter. And in this conclusion, you could just like, you know, leave a friendly greeting and equally state that you will be grateful if your, um, if your application is granted because it's going to help you with your career or it's going to go a long way to, you know, help you with the things you want to do in the future. Guys. Please, if you enjoyed watching this video, give it a thumbs up, like the video, and please do not forget to subscribe. When you subscribe, turn on your notification bell. That way you know when there are new videos available on the channel, guys. Please go ahead and interact with this um, content because it's your interaction that encourages me to create, to go ahead and create more content like this. So I urge you to try to interact, subscribe, like videos share and um thank you for watching if you stayed up to this point i'm so grateful i'm so happy having you around to my next video guys stay safe